Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And on today's Roundtable podcast, we've got Bearland Aaron. Bearland Aaron, how are you? Doing well. Glad to be here. Great, great. We've got the Zen Master. Bring it, breathe in the mailing, breathe out the marketing. Mike Zeno. Mike, how's it going? It's going well. How are you? Good, good. We've got the big papa. His baby already took him down. He's got the flu. And yet, with the flu, he still shows up for the Roundtable podcast. The toughest guy I know. Tate, Navy SEAL Litchfield. Tate, how are you? I'm hanging in there. I'm going to make it. But if that's not dedication, I don't know what it is. I don't. I know. Are, are you taking Tamiflu? I'm taking everything, man. Anything I mean, and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, I get a paper cut. And I'm like boxing Scott. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the mastermind call today? But no more of that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toughen up. And then, of course, last but not least, you know him. You love him, Scott Todd. ScottTodd.net, LandMoto.com, and most importantly, if not automating your Craigslist and your Facebook postings, PostingDomination.com forward slash the land geek. Scott Todd, how are you? Mark, I'm great. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, do you know why today's podcast is sponsored by landmoto.com? Tell me. Because of Tyler and his post. Tyler Brooks. Tyler Brooks, his first sale on Landmoto. And, and in the last week, Mark, uh, Tate had a sale on Landmoto. Bearland had a sale on Landmoto. I had sales off of Landmoto. We can all have sales off of Landmoto. Yeah, so get started. Go to landmoto.com. And then you can thank us later for all your, your passive income. Um, let's start with Mike Zaino. Mike, what do you think are the ingredients that's made you successful in the land business? Um, well, it's a good question. I think number one, mentorship. Somebody who's been there, done that. Uh, it's just a difficult business to get into on your own. Um, there's so many, I mean, I always talk about how it's a repeatable, redundant process. This is like Groundhog Day over and over again, which, by the way, serves us well, because since it is the same process over and over again, we can use VAs, we can use automation, we can use systems. So uh, I always say the boring is exciting in that res respect. But um, it's just there's so, there's so many little intricacies that are involved in this business. And without someone to kind of bounce those off, someone to keep you kind of, when, as you always say, when uh, you get kicked in the teeth by something, right? And life's always going to do that to you. Somebody you can reach out to who's been there, done that. Someone who's been through the same processes as you, but more times than you, that can, that can help you and guide you. I think that's number one. It really is. And you got to have somebody in your corner, right? Like a successful boxer is not going to be out there on his own, right? Any kind of uh, athletes got a coach, got somebody with them that can kind of, you know, provide guidance and, and bring um, support when needed and, and uplift you when, you're, when your spirit's down. So that's true in every endeavor in life. And I don't think land investing is any different. I think it's truly something that involves, um, you know, will be best involved with somebody who could guide you. You know, I mean, of course, you have to take the actionable steps yourself. You have to be the one to, to do all the mailing and do the marketing, and which you correctly state all the time. The only two things you can truly control is how many offer letters you send out and how many marketing, you know, how much marketing you put out there. But you have to deal with the rest, and that stuff you deal with, it can be overwhelming at times. And, and to have someone who's been through that process, to me, that's – if I had to say one thing uh, out of the gate that, that makes it – for success or not, is having a mentor, somebody who's been there and done that. Yeah, it's so funny because I had a conversation today and somebody was like, you know, the, the coaching is really expensive. I'm like, well, yeah, it's supposed to be because, you know, I've, <laughs> I've been working on this full time since 2001. I've made million dollar mistakes, so you don't have to, right? right? It's like, you know, there's a lot of experience there that you are going to smart cut just from doing this. And it's a one-time investment in yourself and then the rest of your life, you're going to have, you know, what I would call the ultimate subscription model. So, you know, it's just an interesting way to sort of look at mentorship versus as an expense or an investment. I know every investment I've made with any type of mentor, I've always gotten at least a 10 X return, even bad mentorship has, you know, like just that one little tweak 
has moved the needle in my business um, where you, you feel like, oh, they don't even really care, but they showed up. I made, I executed and I got a huge return. Um, Barely air for you. What, what would you say has made you so successful? Yeah. I don't know about success yet um, because we haven't, I guess in full transparency, we haven't quite reached our goal of what we had set for ourselves as considered successful. We're on our way there though. So um, yeah, the coaching has a lot to do with that um, because there are so many places that you would um, be stuck if you didn't have somebody help you through that or just or even to tell you don't even worry about that just move on you know those kind of things um and then some of the tools that have been brought into the business both before we started and since we've been in the business have really contributed a lot because they simplify things so much they make your life so much easier that you don't have to worry about like for instance not not so much for a plug, but the LG pad, or I mean the uh, the Geek Pay. Um, you know, it simplifies things so much that you know that's not even something you have to think about anymore. So you can concentrate on the other things that are going to continue to move you forward. You know, LG Pass is another one of those, and then there's you know uh, third party things like um, you know Simplifile and just all kinds of tools that really can can help you, um, they don't necessarily achieve success for you in and of themselves, but when you don't have to worry about a certain thing, like, you know, the accounting of your notes or uh, using WordPress and mail merge and all this stuff to put your offers out, you know, you can just click a button and move forward, then you can concentrate on the higher level things that will bring you that success. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I mean, you know, not one tool really combine, like can really, uh, you know, move the needle, but when you combine all of them and you save so much time, which frees up, you know, so, you know, so much energy to focus on what Mike said, the only thing that's only things that really matter, which are the mailing and the marketing, um, cumulatively, it, it makes a huge difference. So that's, that's a really good answer. Tate Litchfield, why are you so successful? What is it? Um, I mean, hard work. Is that, is that an acceptable answer? I mean, uh, I yeah, work hard. Absolutely. Right. But I think more than anything, it's my foundation. You know, I, I did this business without mentorship and then I did it with mentorship and the results, I mean, weren't even comparable once I started getting help and some guidance and, um, I think that goes back to a strong, you know, baseline education. I learned the basics. I learned the, learned the fend- fundamentals. And if you don't learn those fundamentals, you're treading water, right? You're just standing still and you're shooting at the dark and you're shooting in the dark. And I remember the way that I used to pick a County was I used to sit down and, you know, I'd either ask, Hey, what County could I get to in a quick little drive from my house or I'd close my eyes, imagine the map of the United States on the board behind me, and I'd throw a dart and I'd say, boom, that's where I'm going to go buy land. And I had to learn the fundamentals of what made a good county, what made a county work in this business. And once I learned that, there was no guessing, right? I was acting with precision. And so I think um, that came with like a mentorship and also a sense of community, right? The community. Why do I attend so many boot camps? Well, number one, I get a nugget every single time, but it's good to see my people, right? It's good to hang out with the people who are as obsessed with raw land as I am. It keeps me motivated. So our community is definitely a huge player in that success. Yeah, I mean, our, our community is second to none. And if you've never been to boot camp and you've got the toolkit and you've got two free tickets, you know, the next one's in, in Vegas. We're more than halfway filled up. You got to go to thelandgeek.com forward slash bootcamp and get registered because like Tate said, there's our, our community is amazing. And it's, it, it's, it's really hard to describe. You almost have to go on Facebook and read the reviews to see 
you know, what makes that so special. Um, and then, you know, like Tate said, like I, I had a call today, Tate, with a client that, you know, has the toolkit. He gets two free consulting calls. And he told me that because he has family in Philadelphia, he wants to start in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I was like, um, no, that's, that's not our business. I'm like, you're not going to, you know, get an infill lot in Philadelphia at 25 cents in the dollar. They're going to go to a broker. You're not going to get any deals there. Or, or if you do, it's going to be from a broker and they're going to be, it's going to be very, very expensive. And so, you know, I get why you want to start there, but that's not where you start. Nobody wakes up and thinks to themselves, boy, I'd love some raw land in Pennsylvania, unless you live in Pennsylvania, right? Um, so that, that was, that's interesting. Uh, Scott, Todd, what do you think is the secret to your success? The special sauce? Um, I mean, I think early on having the, um, I think early on having the structure around kind of coaching and uh, kind of mastermind calls, all of that stuff, it kept, it kept me engaged. Um, you know, Mark, when, when I started and um, I mean, we had mastermind calls. We still do. We still have these mastermind calls every Wednesday. And on the ones when I started, I mean, like it, you would go around the call and you'd say, okay, did you sell anything this week? Tell me about the deal, right? Like, did you sell anything? And tell me about the deal. And it was today's mastermind call is really about questions. How do I do this? How do I do that? In the original days, it was, did you sell anything? And tell me about the deal. And you did not want to show up to the call and say, I did not sell anything. At least I didn't. I, like, I didn't want to go there. It's kind of embarrassing. So, you know, come, come whatever it took, I was going to, to have a sale by Wednesday at the mastermind call because I didn't want to be the guy that didn't have a, a sale. And, you know, I think that forces you to take extra kind of, you know, extra care in, in building that business, right? It keeps you engaged. It keeps you motivated. I think you have to kind of stay, stay with it because look, it is, it is an easy business. What is not easy is getting it right. You know, like you've got to, you've got to do the county research. You've got to, you got to feel, you got to feel comfortable with the county. Um, I was working with someone the other day on, uh, in flight school and they were saying, man, I'm working this county. None of the records are online. Uh, you know, and that's what we teach in flight school is look, if, if it's, if there's friction there, if it's hard to, to like do county research or, you know, deed research, it may not be a good county for you, right? Like find out where it's easy and just take action there. But I think that when you build that business, when you, when you choose the county correctly, when you see that there's other land investors there, you can have success. It's, I mean, beyond what you could ever imagine. You know, it's just amazing. So, so speaking of success beyond what you've ever imagined, uh, Scott ruined my Valentine's day. And, um, <laughs> Scott, do you want to tell the story? All right. So for Valentine's day, I, as many of you know, I recently became about a month ago, a, a private pilot and, um, you know, have the certificate I could fly around. So for Valentine's Day, my wife agreed that we would uh, get a plane and not buy a plane, rent a plane, and um, we would go to lunch. So that was her first flight with me. And um, she was, you know, a little, little uh, not, not nervous of my abilities, but, you know, just had never been in a plane like that before and wasn't sure what to expect. So we take off and we land, we went to an uh, airport that's pretty close by. It was about a 20 minute flight. We land all as well. We're eating lunch. She's taking pictures of the whole experience. She's sharing it with her sisters and family and it, it was a good time. And um, then we get back in the plane. We fly back, uh, back to our home airport, land as I'm kind of packing all my stuff up. I glance at my phone to get the email that said, hey, Scott, just want to let you know we had a a cash sale is a property we paid 3000 for and sold it for 18,000 cash. Uh, and they had accepted a check. Uh, we, we got a kind of an electronic check. So basically it was just for me to go print it out and take it to the bank. So, I mean, that was kind of a great experience. I called Mark. I'm like, Mark, guess what I did for Valentine's day, man. Took my wife to flew her to lunch. Here's the picture, you know, Oh, by the way, I got a cash sale. Nice, nice, margins on there as well. And, uh, Mark, you know, 
you told me our relationship was never the same. Well, it's not. I mean, it was, it's sort of like a drop the mic moment. And, and, you know, I like to say comparison is a thief of happiness and he stole all the happiness for me for Valentine's day. Cause I said to Scott, I'm like, look, there's that experience is never going to happen for my wife. She's never in her entire life going to get that, you know, that call from me saying, Hey honey, I'm going to fly you to lunch. Number one, she would never fly with me. Number two, she would never fly with me. And number three, I have no interest in, in getting a pilot's license, <laughs> but still like, like how, how romantic is that? And then of course, uh, the cherry on top is the cash sale. So he got paid to, you know, have my wife look at me like you are the most incompetent person I know. And I should have married a guy <laughs> like Scott Todd. And uh, it was, you know, it was humbling. I mean, Bearline Aaron, what would, what would Missy say if you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm flying for lunch today? Uh, she'd be all for it because she knows that that's a dream of mine as well, uh, to fly. I've dreamt of it all my life. So um, she'd be on board. So a little jealous of Scott right now, but I love him. I mean, Tate, doesn't it make the, the, uh, the chocolates and roses look like a booger? <laughs> oh, hey, Tate, you're, you're on mute. I was going to say, actually, as we speak, I mean, I just had to unfriend him, and we're going to have to make sure this podcast never hear, airs because I don't want my wife to think that that's normal. Right? Like, that's... that's oh, sure enough. Sure Sure enough. <laughs> Scott's so. going to, he just set the bar so high that from here on out, his wife's going to expect this. So, well, I, I, I mean, I, I told her, I'm like, hey, this is kind of like, uh, this is kind of like our uh, a pretty woman moment. I like gets in the plane and flies to lunch. She's like, well, uh, I'm not, not a prostitute. So, <laughs> Jeez, way to ruin it. <laughs> 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 And we have you, digressed. You can't win. <laughs> and that's how the flight ended. No. <laughs> uh, that's pretty who, who's, crazy, who's, the, who's the guy? Champagne and caviar. And land flipping. Who's that? Remember that? The lifestyles, the rich and famous. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Uh, you know what you're talking about. Yeah, what's the guy's name? Uh, Robin. Robin. Leech. Robin Leach. Robin Leach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, good call. So you're you were like Robin Leach right there. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> incredible. Awesome. What, you know, what, what, but you know, the, the land investing business really allowed you to get your pilot's license faster than anybody. Isn't that what they told you? It it did, yeah. I mean, like it took me uh it took me five months, but uh, essentially I had I had uh allocated three three days a week to going to instruction plus countless hours of study and, you know, you know, kind of homework and all this other stuff. And the only way I could have done that is by, by being in this business. It, it bought me the ultimate, the ultimate thing, which is freedom, right? Like there's no way that I could have had a corporate gig and, and done this because I would have been limited to the, to the time that I could participate. And there's something strange. I mean, Mark, when I went out there to, to meet with the, um, the instructor for the very first time I said to him, I'm like, okay, listen, how long does this take? You know, like, he's like, well, you have to have a minimum of 40 hours. It's probably going to be closer to like 50 to 55. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, what is the very best strategy to do this? You know, forget time and forget economics, like forget those two factors. What's the very best way to learn this? And he said three times a week. And I'm like, three times a week? He's like, three times a week. I'm like, done, right? So that's what we're doing. And that's what I did. And it was amazing though, because you think like, okay, well, I'm going to fly three times a week. But, you know, there, there was one week where we had a hurricane. I didn't fly at all, okay? And if you're trying to plan that, like, okay, I'm just going to go once a week. Well, then you could get wiped out for weather on, you know, every Saturday for a month, Okay, if that's like your only single day to go do it. And then all of a sudden you're now doing this thing for a whole year. And by having that freedom, by having that time, by having the economic freedom and the time freedom together, it's the only way I was able to do it in five months is because 
I had nothing else going. I had that. I had the economic freedom and the time freedom. I don't know how you you kind of combat or battle any of that because how many people do you know that create a? We just had we talked to a guy today. He created an eight figure business, right? How much time freedom does he have, right? Like an eight figure business is beautiful, but to me, I want the time freedom with the economic freedom, and I think that's what you get from the land business, and I think that's what you you can learn from your investment, whether it's in coaching or the community or however it comes back to. Yeah. Mike Zana, what are your thoughts? Well, I kept hearing R. Kelly, I believe I can fly the whole time he was talking. So <laughs> I couldn't get that out of my head. Like <laughs> but he hit upon some really great points other than the flying romantic. Yes. That was, yes. We'll have to die. We'll have to move away from that one very quickly so we can get back on topic. <laughs> I can't compare to that one either, but you know, what I was thinking of when he was talking about all the different, uh, you know, ways that everybody talking about what's helped them in the business. It reminds me of like, you know, um, I guess you could go and get a whole bunch of tools that work on cars, right? You could get a whole bunch of really expensive tools, right? But you're not going to be a mechanic. You could go get a whole bunch of uh, tools to you know, you know, work on electrical stuff, but you're not going to be an electrician. I mean, the tools themselves, without the education, it's very, it's like pointless, right? I mean, you just don't know what you're doing. You don't know what's in your hand. You could get hurt. You could lose money, right? I mean, in the business of auto repair or any other trade, you could really get hurt, right? You put the ladder up, you don't know how to use it. You fall down, you could die, right? Well, in landing business or in other investing, if you get tools and you just go at them real quick without education, you could lose money, right? Or you could spend a lot more time than you need to. So, it's just interesting. I like to, when I th when I hear everybody talking, it makes me think about that. It's just the education is first, understanding how this business works or any business, but we're talking about the land business, uh, investing business. So understanding how it works and the parameters and the processes and from there, um, implementing tools to scale, that's huge, right? But in the beginning, we all know you need to do this first to really embody it and and, and to know how the ins and outs work. So it was interesting. That's my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, and for me, like a, a big takeaway was the power of purpose, right? And, and Scott had, a, you know, had several different whys in, in the beginning. You know, the first why was protect his family, right? Then he, he kind of, you know, got that done. And then the second why was um, spend more time doing, doing things that I, I love to do and, and kind of, you know, these, these bucket list things. Um, I love, you know, Voxing Tate. And I'm like, going on the bike ride yet? And he's like, I love it. He's like, I, because like, there's not a day that Tate can't go bike riding, right? And um, unless, of course, he gets the flu. But that's, you know, but I think oftentimes, you know, especially in, in our society, there's this, there's this, you know, this badge of honor. I worked 80 hours this week. Um, okay. I mean, but that's great if you really wanted to work 80 hours and, it's, it's towards, you know, a higher purpose, but just to work 80 hours, just to tell your, your mall partner, I worked 80 hours this week. It isn't really that valuable. I don't think, um, someone's got some, uh, feedback. I think it's barely and Aaron. I'm going to mute him. Uh, Tay, what are your thoughts? Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think that why that purpose, you know, that's ultimately what's going to, motivate you to have the success that you want. And I, that's what's really unique about this. Everybody on this call, I think we all have the same why. We all have the same goals moving us forward. And that's, you know, financial freedom. And, you know, taking care of our, the ones we love and spending more time with them. And it, it's, it's really amazing to surround yourself with people who are motivated by the same things. And I think that's just another testament to the beauty of working with people who you love, respect, and admire. And our community is so unique because there's not a person that I don't enjoy working with. So tools will help you get to the end destination quicker, but you got to have the basic fundamentals. Right. And if you, if you want to really learn and, you know, deep dive and sort of explore how this business can move the needle in your life. Uh, I would recommend scheduling a call with Mike or Scott Bossman. And all you got to do is go to landgeek.com forward slash training. You just scroll down 
you pick a time that works for you and, and see if this is going to be right for you and ask them sort of, you know, the tougher questions that you might not be able to ask um, just, you know, generally speaking and, um, and, you know, hear their stories and how they were able to, uh, you know, create the, the, the financial and the time freedom that, that they created and, and the steps that were involved and, and um, it becomes, you know, a lot more real uh, when you do that. So uh, I do recommend everybody that is sort of, you know, wants to dip their toe in the water in this, um, you know, go a little deeper and just go to landgeek.com forward slash training and, and schedule that call. So we are now at that point where Eric Peterson was unable to make the roundtable podcast due to a scheduling conflict, but he was kind enough to give his tip of the week. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. We are ready. I'm sure it's going to be great. It, of course, I mean, of course, Scott's going to say. I, I mean, he could have died. Uh, here, I, I think that you should just stop right now, and and because you know he could have like uh, just said, "I can't be here," so it's not my turn. But Eric, being Eric, he delivers. Eric delivers. It's true. So we'll it's see if he delivered. We'll dot see. com f i n dot com. Oh, so, I love this website. Seriously, you do. I do. It's a little, it's a little pricey, though. Listen, it's, pricey. it's pretty good. Pretty good. What is it? Is it, what is is it? it better than Get Magic or Fancy Hands? Check it out. Check it out, Tate. Go, go there, Finn. So Finn. this is com. like this is a competitor to Fancy Hands or GetMagic.com. Now, you know, Eric told me that he did have some research done, and it costs like forty bucks, right? But this is like a digital assistant. Finn can call. Finn can email. Finn can text. Schedule, research, book, and purchase for you. Talk to Finn using voice transcription that actually works. Add Finn to email chains. Finn understands context, learns your preferences, and handles nuanced requests. So it's like a more flexible than a traditional assistant. Finn is available 24-7, 365. We hire and manage a highly skilled and educated team so you don't have to. You pay only for what you use down to the minute. So you can see like a live fit, feed of their fin requests. Uh, please reconfirm my reservation for tomorrow. I'm in Jakarta for work for the next four days. Can you recommend an activity or something to see each, for each night? Uh, please remind me to go home at 5 p.m. Again at 5.15 p.m. Uh, for the next four days. Um, and, uh, and do all that. So there's like a lot of research, booking, message, shopping. Can you, you know, calendar. Um, it's kind of cool. What do you guys think? I like it. It looks good. It, it, it does look a little pricey, but, um, you know, if it's quality, then I have no problem with that. Let's see what the pricing is. Only dollar pay for me use. Join today and skip our usual two hour minimum. Pay a dollar per effective minute worked. Dollar a minute. And you can see how much people are paying on, on average. 15 bucks, 11 bucks, 14 bucks. What do you do I mean, if, if it's, you if it's quality? If it's quality, yeah. then so be it, right? If I don't um, have to do it. <laughs> okay. Looks good. What do you think, Mike? So every request you make is like basically public or is that? No, no, no. They're just showing you. Those aren't really you, yeah. from today. It's, they're just showing you some that people yeah. have done. Ah, it looks interesting. I mean, it's like fancy hands, right? But maybe it's better. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, a little bit more money for a better quality product. I'm not wrong on that. Yeah, I mean, nothing it doesn't cost much to, to test it. No. I'm just, I'm just wondering why the guy needed to be reminded to go home at 5.15 <laughs> every day for the next four days. That seems go like home. kind of dumb. <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you the exact reason why. Why? <laughs> Tell me the exact reason why. Because because he he's not a land investor. Because otherwise he'd already be at home. Oh, uh, that's good. Uh, that's See what right. I did there. See, I that makes sense. That. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. Pretty pretty. I cool. give it two thumbs up, Eric. Good job, man. Good job, Eric. I like it. Bearland, I like it. Bearland, Aaron. I'll- what do you think? I'm actually driving, so I can't. I couldn't look at it, so I'm gonna stay. Look at it right now. 
PC. Right. I give it one thumbs up because he's on, not you're here. You're a firefighter. He's not here. One <laughs> thumbs up because he's not here. Yeah. One thumbs up. Okay. It's a great tip, but I would have rather heard Eric. It's it's almost like he's taking Guitar, it Eric on, say because, it. Yeah. Because when he's on, we just like to make fun of it. But, but it's actually a good tip. I like it. I'm going to try it. Honestly. I'm I, I'm going to try it. I mean, there's you know I, I do think though. Like Scott, like, like like for fancy hands, like I'm calling, let's say, um, you know, the phone company, and I'm going to be on hold for 30 minutes. That's 30 bucks just to be on hold for 30 minutes. Where fancy hands might be, you know, nine bucks. I'm with you. Same task. I am with you. Actually, fancy hands would be 18 bucks. Two tasks. Wait, no, no, no. It's what is it? It's nine bucks a task. No, it's right? five bucks a task. It's five bucks a task. Hold on, I pay f- so, I pay fifty dollars a month and I get fifteen tasks. So three dollars, three thirty three a task. So yeah, that'd be six dollars. Really good. Seven dollars to sit on hold. Yeah, which is way better. Hey Mark, while we're since since this would not be a complete podcast without us picking on Eric, right? That's true. Like, yeah. So. I'm going, uh, just so you can see that I, I do, I, I'm, I pick on everybody. All right. And Eric's not necessarily always like immune from my picking on go to the, everybody should go do this. Go to the landgeek.com. That's right. I'm promoting your website here, Mark too. forward slash student dash success, student success, the landgeek.com forward slash student dash success. Go all the way to the bottom. And look at Eric's picture. <laughs> <laughs> I do see Luke Skywalker in there. Oh. Now he's going to take another deal from us just for this. Oh, well, yeah. see. He's also on the Geek Pay site, too. Yeah. Um, With this picture, though? Let me see. Probably. This picture, this picture's really good, man. He looks handsome. He looks young. He, yeah, he, he's not that young. <laughs> that's rude Actually. well he's not well he does look young I and mean, he just looks young i, I forgot how... thought he was in his early 30s but no yeah he's... wow is he wearing yeah. a shirt in that picture what's that just like a necklace and no shirt what's no that? no he's got a shirt on he's got a shirt no, on you no can shirt on. you can see it in the lower left corner mike lower left corner. No, you all can i see, see is like a necklace shirt. that's no a no 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 below the Go lower. You I'm can not see showing a lot of that picture. No way. Just, <laughs> no way. Scrolling out of that. You know what I'm going to do, Scott? We have a local, uh, like a little uh, park nearby, you know, that we take rides. And in there, there's a sky ride. It's a little plane you sit in and it, on a little cable and takes you across. I think yeah. I'm going to schedule a ride with Laura there. For, so yeah, you, you do that and you're like, wee! Take get down you to get lunch, a, baby. Get a candy apple. Yeah, taking well, you to lunch. You know, oh, I Mike. See, I'll get a video of you, Scott. Hey, look at us. We're in a plane. I set myself up for failure because last year we were in Paris for, for Valentine's Day. Oh, and this year, Allison dude. was like, so what's, what's going on today? I was like, uh, going for a bike ride, honey. Pizza? I was like, fancy hands. Please make <laughs> digital reservations at an Italian restaurant now. You know, it was uh, a letdown. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, honey, I got more diapers shipped to the house so we can just change more diapers. I'm going to change diapers all day today for you. In, be, in between all my calls. Yeah. In between all my yeah. calls. Yeah. And I was actually, I went out riding on Valentine's Day and I was riding with my buddy and he got like two flat tires. So we had to wait and I got home like an hour later than I was supposed to. So we missed our dinner reservations. Oh, I mean, it was, it was bad guys. Really you, bad. That's, you didn't that's tell her that brutal. it was flooding and you couldn't get home. No, I thought about Ubering again, but uh, I don't know. I didn't want to leave my buddy out there. You, you chose the bros. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and it was not good. Like I said, you better I hope you, you better hope Allison doesn't listen to this because you just confirmed that you, you chose the bros. I didn't choose uh, the bros. I was with the bros. I had no choice. No man yeah, left behind. This whole podcast has to get hidden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Left behind. Just, just shell this one. Just shell it. Do a best of Daniel. Yeah. Daniel, do a best of. Yeah. Daniel, best just, just cut this part out. Cut this part out. Yeah. All right. All right. So um, 
I, I want to thank all the listeners. Uh, hopefully everyone's getting value out of the round table podcasts. And I know we're having a good time. Even Tate's showing up with a flu. You know, we're having a good time. And, um, you know, please help us out with the podcast. Tiny little favor. Just subscribe. Just rate. Just review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review to support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free our $97 passive income launch kit. And does everybody know about Dirt Rich coming out? I wrote the book, Dirt Rich. It's coming out. Um, if you want to pre-order Dirt Rich, just email support at thelandgeek.com. Uh, we are going to basically give it to you for free because you are a podcast listener. All you have to do is pay shipping and handling because, I mean, let's face it, I want to lose money on the damn thing. But I'm not going to make any money either. So, um, so do that. Uh, just email us and just say pre-order Dirt Rich and we'll get you in the queue so I know how many of those to, uh, to print. So uh, it's going to be great. We're already getting good feedback uh, on Dirt Rich from, uh, from those lucky few that have been reading it. Maybe I should throw out a few chapters as a preview. What do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? Should I? Sure, why not? The one about me. Share the one about me. Yeah, okay. Just tlfolio.com. It doesn't mean Tate Litchfield. Oh, no. The land folio. Unbelievable. Uh, um, all right. Also, schedule a call. Mike and Scott, go to landgeek.com forward slash training. And uh, that's it. You guys ready? Let's go, Mark. One, two, One, two, two three. Let's Let freedom, freedom ring. ring. Ding, 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 ding. That was the ding, best ding, one. Ding. That was pretty good. Yeah. I didn't do it. That's, That's why. Probably That's why, why I was the best. <laughs> Maybe Eric's tonality takes us off a little bit, too. Maybe we should mute Eric from now on, too, when we do this. Do Maybe he should only be allowed to play guitar during it. Yes, the guitar. The, the guitar. guitar. He could write a song. It's the bicycle. <laughs> That's a good song. You need a jingle. <laughs> the stick. And the bicycle. Oh, we're going to get a lot of flack when Eric hears this podcast. Yeah, he probably doesn't even listen to him. All right. Well, well thanks, guys. <gasps> All righty. All right. Thanks. thanks guys. All right. So, Mike, what do you got going on the rest of the day? Uh, not much. <laughs> Being a full-time land investor is what he's got going on. <laughs> I got a couple workouts planned. You know, trying to – I've been dieting really well. I mean, I always make these promises for the next boot camp. I want to look in shape. But this next one in Vegas, I'm going to be shredded. I am wow. eating macro Mediterranean diet. I'm exercising. I, wa I exercised three, four times yesterday. I mean, I'm, I'm looking to really show up boot camp and be like – What do you, what do you well, mean you exercised three or four times yesterday? What did you do? <laughs> yes. I exercise. I walk. I use cardio. Cardio. I heard of cardio. <laughs> Come on, man. Cardio. So stretching. Let's, honey, we're gonna do some cardio tonight. We do partner yoga. Partner. Wait, partner yoga. <laughs> hey, let's do some partner cardio. What do you think, Tate? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know walking was considered like exercising. What do you go to the malls and wear your sweatpants and? Walk around. I'm wa I'm walking to the Wawa to get a drink. Yeah. So the guy came over the other day to do some work in the kitchen, and I had my sweatshirt on, zipped down. My wife, I don't, my 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 uh, I don't, I can't call it a wife beater. You know these things here, these Italian things. Yeah. And he's like, Boo, look like Rocky Balboa. I'm like, that's the best I've ever had. Yo, can I get? That? I go all day long. I was walking around boxing for Laura. Rocky Balboa. Adrian. <laughs> yeah. Adrian. Look, I think it's wicked cool. <laughs> Speaking Are you minding of, your macros? <laughs> Speaking of boot camp, um, Eric messaged me and wanted to know if we wanted to do, like, if we're going to do something the night before, Thursday night, oh. before boot camp. If we wanted to, you guys wanted me to look into maybe doing a show downtown, oh. going to a buffet, depending on what time everybody comes in, we could go throw down some lead in the desert and shoot some guns. Uh, Ooh. I like that. 
like I How won't be dieting at boot camp. Off. I don't diet at boot camp. There's no dieting at boot camp. No. I, I've really been cutting down my sugar, and uh, I think I've lost a pound. <laughs> That's it? But you drink Half five pounds pound. of water a day in that God's cup of water you drink. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when you get to be my age, your, your metabolism slows to a crawl. I had a Coca-Cola at zero sugar last night on accident. And then I started back to the good stuff. I'm young. Worry about it later. Yeah. So. It's good. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to go, uh, work out because my, it's going to be shredded and I got to be, I got to keep you, up with you're it. You're going to do cardio? <laughs> cardio. <laughs> cardio. I'm going to do some cardio. I'm going to lift some weights. I didn't even have to say weights at a Boston accent. Stretch. Wait. How do you say weights, Mike? Just weights. Weights. Wait. <laughs> it's wicked. Wicked weights. Partner, wicked some partner weights. yoga. All right. Pot, pot oh, yoga. Some partner cardio. All, All right, right you chatting heads. Go listen to <laughs> land on landmoto.com. Get a sale. All right? All right. Talk to you later. See ya. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> See ya.